Well, University Police at SUNY Oswego tonight have launched an investigation after several violent threats were sent to a conservative on campus group on Twitter. And now political groups on both sides of the aisle are coming together to support those being threatened. News Channel 9's Josh Martin explains. Tyler Toomey is disgusted by what he's seen on Twitter. He's the head of the SUNY Oswego Republican Club. Students with the group Young Americans for Freedom set up in the campus center Tuesday for an expo. Toomey says constructive conversations were had with students passing by. Besides a bunch of dirty looks, nothing really confrontational happened at the table. When a photo of their table was posted to social media, violent threats were made by multiple accounts. From there, it just really blew up and kind of went viral. And, you know, some of the things are harassment, bullying, some of them supporting us, you know, and then it turned violent. There was threats of shooting us, threats of jumping us, beating us up. Campus police are investigating. Officers requested information from Twitter. Now the tweets have been taken down and the accounts have been suspended. SUNY Oswego's president releasing this statement saying violent threats will not be tolerated and are not protected by freedom of speech. We will pursue offenders as soon as we become aware of threats of violence or other criminal acts. And it turns out these threats have brought political campus groups from both sides of the aisle together. A lot of the campus leaders, um, specifically in the Democrat club or from you know different Democrats on campus, have reached out in support, um, and they're you know stand with us against threats of violence. They don't agree with us on policy, but a lot of the student leaders from those groups are supporting us. The investigation is still ongoing. It is unclear if the threats came from a SUNY Oswego student or elsewhere. In Oswego, Josh Martin, News Channel 9. Josh, thank you. The New York Federation of College Republicans is calling on Democrats like Governor Cuomo to denounce the violent threats. The group is also asking state police to investigate. Noodle 11.